I love her more than myself, dear. Please, don't make me force my own wife. I can't do it. For defying your command, you can kill me instead. Jango knelt before his dad. I can disobey nor can I take a single step forward against you, dad. I know I broke your heart by falling for her. I'm sorry for that. But please leave her, dad. At the time, she was also a child, just like our Jan, not an adult capable of making decisions on her own. Maybe her dad slapped her, causing her to run across the car at the time. While tears are flowing down, how is it possible that Jankov is still defending her, protecting her from his dad? What he said is true, she doesn't even remember the day. She was just a small kid. So am I supposed to drop my revenge just because of you? Is that all? Let me make it clear. We shouldn't have wine for this. She didn't deserve it. And as for Kim, he shot Kim as serious player, clearly wanting to kill him but holding back. Kim is a useless old self, useless brat. He's a good as dead body now. He's gotten old too. I punished him harshly on the wedding day, and you have beaten up him enough already, so it's over. He needs to face legal consequences too. Let's hand him over to the police. No way. Please tell. They both are regretted, and it's wrong. If we keep acting out of anger and revenge, if we do the same things he did to us in the past, what's the difference between him and us? You aren't like him. You are mafia kings, not weaklings who only attack when someone is alone. I still want to kill him, even at this very second. But if my mom was still alive, do you think she would be proud of me being even more cruel than? Remember what mom used to say to you. She always said you could do your professional work as a mafia king. Okay, but don't be dangerously cruel. In the moment when someone asks for forgiveness, it's okay if you don't forgive them, but at least spare their life. John's heart clenched when Jungkook recalled what Mrs. John used to say. Then Kim knelt even more with guilt, kneeling down, lowering his head in shame. John, please listen to me too. I take full responsibility for my actions. Why is innocent? She unknowingly did what she did because I forced her. What you said is right. My apologies can't bring them back. But I can't do anything as to make it right. I'm begging for your forgiveness, both of yours and Jungkook's. Please forgive me. John ended him, unable to bear listening. But one as I stepped forward, approaching John with sadness, seeking forgiveness from them while Jungkook knelt beside him. I'm sorry, uncle. She called respectfully, even though she was captured by him, but she didn't even get injured or beaten by John. I can feel your sadness, the love you have for your wife and son. I also feel guilty for causing their deaths. You shut up. He elder her angrily raising his chest, which made her flinch. Then Jungkook immediately stood up and turned between them before his father could harm her. Jungkook, step aside. Dad, please. He stone lower, begging his dad not to hurt his wife. Anxiety evident, John clenched his teeth, pushing Jungkook aside and looked at Wan with overwhelming anger. But because of Jungkook, he couldn't raise his hand against her, even though he wanted to kill them mercilessly. Look, don't try to act anymore. How could you make my son fall in love with you? Just because of you, he's become so weak. Do you know how much effort I put into raising him? I raised him to be tough and strong since he lost his mom. I changed him into a demon to seek revenge. But you simply turned him from a demon into a lover by her? Don't try to tell me. Just leave him here before I change my mind. He said so irritatingly he might have already met up for them and given up his revenge when he learned of Jungkook's love, but never, that never happened. He can't forgive those who destroy his life. He is not an easy person. He is a being devil.
since he lost his family, so expecting kindness from him is nonsense. But Jungkook thought his father accepted his love and that's why he is leaving Hwaiyan. Thanks dad for accepting my love. Don't you dare to finish that dance sentence Jungkook. I won't accept your love. It's never gonna happen. I am leaving her just because you love her. I already lost your mom and Jack. But I am not ready to lose you too. I can understand you would die for her even if I kill her. That's why I am leaving her. I love you three equally. He said as tears rolled in his eyes. Then Jango couldn't bear to see tears. His eyes were also filled with tears. You also leave from here. I don't want you. Just leave away from me. Forgetting you also have a dad. Dad, please don't say that. I can't do that. He tried to hug his father, but John pushed Jungkook away seriously. Tears still in his eyes, but Jungkook didn't mind it. He tried to hug his father again, begging him. John couldn't push Jungkook away this time, as he also loves Jungkook. While Jungkook is crying, hugging his father. Please, Dad, don't push me away from you. I'm your younger son. Please remember that I love you, Dad. Even though you are treating me harshly, I never hated you even once. Then John broke Jungkook's heart and looked at Jungkook with a cold expression. Even though tears struggled to escape from his eyes, just go away from me. Please don't try to make me weep like you weakened your wife, Jungkook. Jungkook tried to convince his father, but his father gently pushed Jungkook on his shoulder, signaling for him to leave. Then he turned back without seeing anyone. Dad. She called his father as he become an awful in pain seeing it. If you really don't want me to die, then leave me Chango. Wayne also couldn't bear it. While her hand was gripped by her grandma, before Wayne could say something, grandma signaled her to not intervene between father and son. But Kaira had to come home with her. It was so sad to leave Chango. But what should she do? The next day. Grandma was sitting in the car while the driver is waiting in the driver's seat for wine to get in. She looks sadly at Jimin, who is staring back at her with an expressionless face. Go save your wine, she said softly. Wine nodded, but didn't enter the car. She hugged him tightly, but he remained silent. I'm sorry, Jimin. Then he gently released her hug and smiled while holding her shoulders. This is the 28th time. You apologize to me. I understand why. You just ran away because you were scared that I would marry you and kill Jango. But it's good, inducing for me to leave you. You've done so much for me, but but what? I understand that you don't have feelings for me, and I'm sorry for bothering you about marrying again. Let's be friends, why? Really, absolutely. Thanks, Jimmy. But she didn't smile. Then he said. It's okay, Wayne. And what I did for you is nothing compared to what Jungkook did. Hearing Jungkook's name, she pursed her lips. When Jimin opened the car door, just waiting for her to get in, she got into the car sadly. He closed the door. It's okay, Wayne. I'll be fine. I'll marry another girl who can steal my heart. By then, no one can stop me. He chuckled. So days are awkwardly passing. Wine is filled with sadness, and Kim is crying in jail every day because Wine hates him so much. She isn't even talking to him, even though he begged her to forgive him for his sins. No one wants him now. He is alone. It's actually a waste. He was crying, thinking he should have died by John's hand instead of living alone in jail. He feels like he is dying even though he is still alive because no one has forgiven him. On the other hand, Jungkook went to his mansion after fully healing at Bella's home. Jungkook and Wayne didn't meet or see each other even once. Whenever possible, Jungkook is doing his best to meet his dad and ask forgiveness. But John is not talking to Jungkook with anger. But Jungkook isn't giving up hope. He hopes someday his father can change his mind. And be with Jungkook as a normal father because Jungkook knows his father loves him. One night at 9 p.m., Bella was walking alone on the road from the grocery shop. 
It was quiet with no crowd. As she was going on her way, she saw two drunk guys coming towards her. Upon seeing them, she pretended like she didn't mind them and continued walking. They both passed her path. Then she sat still walking, but she felt someone was following her. Then she wasn't sure if they were really following her or if it was just her imagination fueled by fear and pain. Whatever. She decided to walk faster, hoping to shake off the feeling of being followed, even though she glanced back and saw nothing. The sense of unseen continued with her tension mounting. She increased her pace, walking hurriedly. Suddenly, a guy suddenly pulled her back by the back of her neck, causing her to scream in fear, tightly shut her eyes. But then the speed cut jumped past, and that's why he pulled her back, protecting her in a moment of danger. You are okay, princess. Open your eyes. Her heart was rising in disbelief as she recognized that only one person calls her princess. She couldn't open her eyes as she was already trying her best not to get emotional with him. I know you already recognized me. Why are you hesitating to open your eyes? Princess, come on, look at me. She did as he said, but she was confused about why he was here in her native place. Was he the one who followed her? Why are you here? To see my lover. Lola's eyes turned sad when she understood that Dave was in love with someone else, but she forced a smile. Oh, oh what? Don't you want to meet my lover? Who is that lucky girl? Right, just again. He took out his phone and unlocked it, then showed her the wallpaper while teasing her, leaving her frozen. Isn't my lover more beautiful than you? She couldn't say anything, tears almost rolling in her eyes as the wallpaper on his phone was a secretly taken photo of Bella. She shifted her eyes from her photo on his wallpaper to his eyes. Do you think I'm a fool to believe you was? Not love for me. You might have liked to make excuses, but your eyes always tell me how much you love me, Bella. I love you. She hugged her and she hugged him back, letting her tears of happiness flow. I am sorry, dear. I am also sorry, Bella. She looked at him confused with her cheeks wet. Jungkook already told me you love me, and he even asked me to marry you. But I couldn't tell him my answer like I just did with you because I was too weak to handle my feelings. But I didn't reject you, right? Yet the day you said you were leaving us, crying you didn't love me, but I was supposed to accept your love that day, so I collapsed inside my heart. I couldn't stay calm when you won't hit me. I even decided that I had to meet you, but in a messed up situation, I couldn't come to you and couldn't make you mine. Princess, will you marry me? He asked his eyes filled with love. Yes, I will. She replied softly as she brushed away her tears. Then they both sealed their promise with their tender kiss.
Oh, 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 oh,